Why is it that dogs like carrying sticks so much? Well, first of all, it comes naturally to them. It's based on their instincts to retrieve things when they hunt. But it might be that they just want to play with you, and you've forgotten the ball at home. A clear sign of this is if it drops the stick right at your feet and starts looking up at you. Dogs love the smell and texture of sticks, so they love gnawing on them. This even helps keep their gums and teeth healthy and relieves pain. Coming home back from a walk, your dog might lay down after a while and start licking his paws. This is completely normal because even though they don't need to groom themselves as often as cats do, dogs still try to keep themselves clean, especially their paws. If they do it more often than usual, though, you should take a closer look. It might mean that they've injured their paw or there might be something stuck in it that they just can't get rid of. Make sure to examine the paw that they're licking thoroughly to make sure there's nothing wrong. If you're unsure, go hear what the vet has to say. Your dog shakes its toys with a crazed passion when it's playing, doesn't it? This is something they got from their ancestors, the wolves and their hunting instincts. Don't worry though, it doesn't mean your dog's aggressive, it's just having fun. Like cats, dogs also get zoomies, the burst of energy that makes them run around the house like nuts. But it's a little different for dogs. They also do this because they're happy. Many dogs don't like being bathed, and it makes them feel nervous and anxious. When they're done, some will zoom off like an indie car. They do this because it helps them shake off water and burn off that pent-up nervous energy. Hearing a siren will more likely than not make your dog howl. Contrary to popular opinion, they're not just doing this because they dislike the noise or it hurts their ears. It also triggers instincts to howl because they think of the siren as another dog that's howling too. It can also happen when people play the piano or flute next to them. Several things can trigger their howling. Yep, my dog Riley loves to howl when I'm playing my trumpet. Some dogs have an instinct to eat grass. Some might just enjoy how it tastes, but it's more likely that they eat it because it used to help them clear bad things like parasites out of their bodies. This works because grass is so high in fiber. You should discourage this as a dog owner, though, because the grass can cause problems with digestion. When your dog sits on your feet, it means they're letting other dogs know that you belong to them. They're marking their territory and showing affection while they do it. Dogs say hello to each other by sniffing each other's butts. They do this because their incredible sense of smell allows them to learn a lot about this new acquaintance. Some can even determine if the other pup is feeling a particular emotion. A yawn for a dog can have the same meaning as it does for us, sleepiness. But it has other meanings as well. If a dog yawns while you're trying to train it, it might mean that it's getting frustrated. Letting out a big yawn might be its way of giving itself a mental break. It might even mean they've gotten sick of what they're doing and they want to stop. Not only that, it can also be a sign that they're stressed and nervous, like when they're at the vet and clearly don't want to be there. On the other hand, it might mean that they're enthusiastic, like the yawn before going on a walk. That's always a good one. Rolling on their back asking for a belly rub is something a lot of dogs do. It feels great for them to get their first stroke, but it's also a sign that they trust you. Ever notice how their little leg kicks when you scratch their belly? It's called a scratch reflex, and they have no control over it. You're activating nerves under his skin when you scratch his belly. Those are the same nerves that act when dogs are trying to get rid of something irritating, like a bug that's stuck on their fur. Another sign of your dog's affection for you is when it licks you. Their moms used to clean and bond with them the same way when they were puppies. It's a great way to get your attention to when you're on the couch too busy looking at your phone. And when they do it to your face, it's likely they either want food or just want a taste of that leftover meatloaf you had for lunch. Tail wagging has a bunch of different meanings for dogs. Some research has claimed that if dogs' tails are wagging more to the right, it means they're showing happy emotions, while wagging to the left might mean the feelings are more negative. Their tails are a gateway for us to understand them better. A scared dog will usually have its tail down, and an alert or excited dog will hold their tail much higher than usual. If they're curious, their tail will be straight. And finally, a stiff and vertical tail means that you should watch out for aggression. You might feel sad if you hear your dog crying or whimpering, but it doesn't always mean the same thing it does in humans. Dogs use these cries as a form of communication that they learned while they were puppies. Puppies whimper to ask their moms for stuff. 
So when they grow older, that's how they communicate with us, too. These cries can mean all kinds of things. It could mean that the dog's excited. It might mean that they want your attention, or even that they got hurt. There isn't one good explanation for every whimper. But you might actually be encouraging your dog to whimper, too. If you take your dog out for a walk every time it whines, it learns that whining helps it to get what it wants, so it's a learned behavior as well. Still, if they're doing this all day long, consult with your local vet. Dogs often run and hide from vacuum cleaners because their ears are so sensitive. Not all dogs dislike them, though, and some might even chase the vacuum as a game. Some dogs absolutely love to chase their tails. It's an excellent way for them to spend their energy, almost like zoomings, and they're having fun while they do it. But if you notice them doing this all the time, they might need to get checked at the vet, and in some cases, it might even be a sign of obsessive-compulsive disorder. Try to distract it while it chases its tail. Call them and say you're going for a walk. That should work, but if it doesn't, go to the vet. If instead of their own tails, they chase a shadow, chances are they're doing it for attention. The dog might notice that you react to them doing this and carry on. Most dogs walk around in one spot before they finally lie down. This behavior is carried over from before they were domesticated. In the wild, wolves would do this to pat down leaves and grass and clear a comfy area to lie down in. Nowadays, most dogs don't need to pat down their fluffy beds, but their instincts tell them to anyways. If your dog lays down on your clothes, it means that it loves you. Your clothes have your smell all over them, so it gives them a sense of comfort. There's a hole in the yard, and your dog's in the corner, covered in mud, looking guilty. Mm. Don't be frustrated, though. This is a natural behavior for them. They're probably just having fun and relieving stress. It might be that they're trying to escape from your yard or run away from something that scares them, though. So make sure nothing is causing them distress. It's not uncommon for dog owners to trip over a half-buried toy in their yard, either. This is another instinct that dogs kept from their time as wolves. Modern dogs bury valuable items because they used to bury food to save for later. Even stranger, you might have seen your dog eating dirt. In most cases, this is just their way of exploring the world. They don't have hands, so they use their mouths instead. In rare cases, though, it might mean your dog is sick, so you should have them checked out if they keep doing it. If your dog is scratching the carpet, they're probably bored or feeling anxious. It could also mean they just have too much pent-up energy. Play with them for a bit and help them release some energy and they should calm down. Good boy! That's my good boy!